having as good a time as you look to be having? Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> in general? Yeah, I'd be, I was at the London Film Festival, so I hadn't seen my friends for a while. I'm back on the set on Tuesday, but uh, it's, you, know, you spend a lot of time with people all day, every day, right. in space, yeah. and uh, you get very close, and so it's nice very to see cool. them all. Your friend of mine told me that you're a very big fan of William Shatner. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, William Shatner's acting in the Star Trek series. Yes, yeah. that's what, yeah, a that's human being, I don't know. I, that's fair enough. He's probably delightful, maybe he's not. I don't so know. But it, he's a wonderful so what is it uh, like for you to be in this kind of role in the Star Trek? Oh, well, if I person. thought there was any echo at all of, uh, of Kirk or any of those captains, I wouldn't have done it. Right. I, it was a brand new character in a set in a very different time when they're at war and in, involved in very different conflicts and stories told in a different way. It's the Star Star Trek universe, but it's Star Trek Jim, not as we know it, you know, and it's it's uh, it's ten years before the Prime Director, and these are people trying to navigate some choppy waters, much as we are in the streets and in the newspapers every day, and so uh, Star Trek was originally born out of these very troubled times in the beginning of the Civil Rights Movement and feminism and everything, and uh, if it was ever necessary to tell these great stories and but present the vision of a future where we can all work together. Right now, 2017 is when we need it. That's funny, because I was going to ask you what, you what Star Trek's role in the world was. Well, today, well first of all, you've got to entertain people. They've got to have a fabulous hour watching it, be engaged by the characters' journeys, and want to come back next week and see more. That's the, you know, the, the prime prerequisite of anything. But beyond that, if you're really lucky, you can affect people more, because I think images are very powerful, and these paradigms of characters that we admire are very powerful. And uh, this has always presented a vision of, of people working together across gender and race and, and, and our show, uh, sexuality and species boundaries. And you don't notice that stuff happening. If it was to the forefront, it would be kind of annoying. And, but, but somewhere subliminally, you get the message that maybe actually we don't have to hate each other. Maybe we can work together and find the best way forward. And right now, we're being told the opposite of that in a lot of places in the world by a lot of powerful people. Yep, absolutely. Why do you think the show is connected, the scene sort of connected with people so quickly? You listen to that crowd, I mean, that's pretty insane. What do you think it is about the show that's connected? Um, I think, well, first of all, there's a huge fan base of people who are desperate for another Star Trek show. They love Star Trek, uh, and they've always loved the world of it. Uh, uh, it's easy to go online and think that they've loved the technology of it, but it's not. What they've liked is the characters working their problems out positively. And, um, and sci-fi has always been this prism through which we can examine our world today without being distracted by kind of the partisan divide or anything else. Uh, I don't know. The, actually, I was asked sometimes during the Harry Potter times, what is so successful about Joe Rowling's stories? And I'd listen to people around me at press things and they'd start talking about friendship and loyalty and magic and, but it's bullshit because there were a million books that did that. She had the magic, she bottled it. Star Trek's got some magic and these guys were careful to curate it and try and somehow keep the flame burning. And uh, you put it out there and you hope that it works. It seems at the moment like people are loving it all over the world. Um, but you know, it's a very delicate, delicate thing like a pilot light. Yeah, fair enough.